inside this is not some fudge or a sandwich from a deli. Hello, people of the interwebs. This is a fully painted go-kart frame that's super heavy and I just struggled to pick this up. If you're new or you missed out on the last video, up above there is a link to the video where I just recently painted this frame in the booth. Now it's time to show you the next round of special surprises I have in store for this thing. You can call it excessive if you want to, but I think this is intelligent because I don't have a workbench. There's one hole. Oh, some of these tabs are bent. I probably should have bent those straight before I painted it. One hole, two hole, three hole, four hole, five hole, six hole. Asshole. Time to drill. much easier when you drill a pilot hole. It's crazy. I sanded down the edges of the floor pan so that way it's nice and smooth and it won't cut you and I kind of rounded the corners just a little bit. I went and picked up some stainless steel hardware so I could bolt this thing in there. Oh yeah, that's gonna be perfect. Wait, I want the... Yeah. I don't always drill holes in perfect locations, but when I do, I say something stupid like this and make a big deal about it. Can you hear that? That's the wind blowing the door. Holy crap. Oh, that's heavy. Hello, go-kart, I'm hugging you. The barbecue grill dudes made it out of a lot thicker aluminum as well. I know that irks some people that I say aluminum instead of aluminum. I just think it sounds fancy. Okay, that's why I say it like that. It's already three o'clock and I haven't had lunch yet. So I'm absolutely starving. So I got a pizza. Smell it, it smells so good. That works, I can sit there, I can eat, and I can put a YouTube video on. I've been watching this channel called Picos Hank. He does storm chasing stuff and it's very interesting. This little tube right here welded to the frame is where the throttle and the brake pedal go. Before, instead of bushings in there, it had globs of masking tape, which is a creative solution in a pinch. However, these right here, focus, are little brass bushings that should be in there, one on either side, they're shouldered. However, I could not find them in the correct size, but I found these. It doesn't have a shoulder on the side, but it doesn't matter because I have washers that can serve that purpose. I just need to tap that thing in there and I think I'm good to go. If you blow in this thing, it sounds like the beginning of that orgy song. I don't, it's on the Blue Monday album. I don't know the name of it. Anyway, I'm gonna put the pedals on though. I could put some assembly lube on there, but I don't have any. I could put any lube on there. Hell, I could put Astro Glide. Something. Give me your lube, Audi. Hey, it's lube. That's all that matters, right? I don't necessarily think that applies in all situations. How about that? No more masking tape? They're solid? Time to mount the steering wheel. Damn, it's too short. Ouch. Trip number 530 to the hardware store. Ugh. I got some more hardware. Oh, I think that's enough to get a nut on it. I don't know if that's an innuendo. I'm slowly starting to make use of this little hardware organization area. Started filling it out with stuff. Ouch, that was my spine, you mother This is as awkward to do in real life as it is for you to watch. 
I don't know why I, I film in such ridiculous ways. I just think it's entertaining. I'm gonna lube this ball down here too. I'm gonna just insert it dry first and make sure it fits. Yep, I think that's gonna work. All right, time for lube. Listen to this. That's no good. That's better. I tried a lighter lube and now it's a, uh, I don't know, it's better. So there. I don't know anything about go-karts. This is the first one I've ever owned in my life. So I'm literally educating myself as I'm filming this video on all the parts, what they do, what brands they are, what size they are, if there's an international frame or a standard frame for America. It's crazy all the stuff that goes into this. Now I gotta mount this guy right here. Wow, I went way overkill, that's super long. fun stuff now. Oh man, check that out. Yeah, leather wrapped and it's got some red accents on it. That, that looks pretty good. No, the steering wheel's not upside down. Go-karts have flat on the top, not on the bottom. I don't know why, but that's just what they do. I don't really like the hardware that I have for this, so I'm probably gonna get some black anodized bolts so that way it all matches. But for now, we'll just mount it up until I get the right bolts. Everything's good except for one issue. If you notice right here, the size of that hole, look down below, it's a smaller diameter hole down here. The shaft itself has this diameter hole, but because there's a small diameter hole down here, I had to get a bolt that fit that accordingly, which causes for play in the shaft. So I think I'm gonna have to bore the hole out bigger and run a larger diameter bolt all the way through there so this is nice and sturdy. That's why it's been taking me so long to assemble this in this video because I'm pretty much re-engineering the whole go-kart and buying new hardware for every single component because none of the hardware was correct on here. So the other thing that I bought for the go-kart, ta-da, a new seat. It's furry and soft too. It does fit my hips better. It allows for some side to side wiggle in the bolster, but what can you do? I don't want it too narrow in the hips where I have to sit sideways. So that guy is gonna go right there. Ooh, look at that. Now comes the fun part. I have to engineer a seat strut system to mount this seat. Intelligent automotive YouTubers utilize sponsored parts to build their projects. That way nothing comes out of pocket and they can just become rich and buy a mansion and luxury cars. I, however, am an idiot. So I buy everything out of pocket, thanks to my patron supporters for making it possible. But the end result is you get something that was designed up in here, not just out of what was available through sponsorships. That means stuff like this happens. I'm doing a G swap, not a K swap. This is a G series Honda engine on the go-kart. I know some of you are wondering why I'm doing this because my engine worked just fine, but the reason why is because the guys next door wanted to build a go-kart of their own, but they didn't really have it in their budget right now. So by me buying this engine, it freed up the engine that was on my go-kart and I'm gonna give it to them so they can build their own go-kart along with all the other parts that are coming off of this one. Go oh, geez. Now is my accent color on the steering wheel starting to make sense? Did anyone pick up on that? Just curious. And also the fact that I'm doing the bumper and sidebars in white. I need to see something before I do anything else because I need to get different motor mounts for this thing. I do have a 15 degree angle spacer mount, but I don't know if I necessarily need it. I don't know the pros and cons when it comes to using those angled spacers for these go-karts. I know it's so you can clear the air filter over the rear tire, but I just, I feel like I have enough clearance where I don't necessarily need a 15 
degree angled space here. I could probably get away with like a seven or an eight degree. Let me know in the comment section below if you guys are experts on this. Either way, these ones are kind of poop. I mean, they look kind of haggard. So I'm gonna get a new engine mount for this thing anyway. I think there's serious pros to keeping a clutch on this thing also. It's another day and another package. Got some more parts for the go-kart, this time for the rear axle. So these are the axle bearings, which are shot, but inside this is not some fudge or a sandwich from a deli, but some axle bearings. I wish this was a sandwich from a deli because I'm hungry. Let's try not to get this in the eye. There you go. I need this thing out of its carrier and it comes out because magic. You just turn it sideways. Ta-da! I can't even turn it! That's how seized this bearing was. In comparison, nice. Ta-da! Freshly disassembled rear axle. And also, I discovered the rear sprocket looks like it used to be anodized red and someone painted or plastic dipped over it. So I'm gonna peel all that stuff off too and clean it up. I can clean all this stuff up. As much as it seems like I'm replacing every single part in this entire go-kart, I'm trying to clean up and reuse as much stuff as possible, but when this crap's damaged, the engine wasn't damaged. I already explained that. Oh yeah, that works really good. Look at that. Brake clean. Does a great job at cleaning up stuff like this. I feel awkward doing this on video because of the shape of this object. This is just gonna be clean all of a sudden. It's a lot better than it was. I'd say this cleaned up fairly well, yeah? Since I'm putting this YouTube video up for you guys in like an hour or so after I finish shooting what I'm talking about right now, uh, there's not much more work I can get done because I got a lot more to do and I gotta go to the hardware store. So what I'm gonna do is one of you that watches the channel is here working on your car and I'm gonna surprise you because now your car is gonna be on the channel. Huh. Well, let's go check out what's in the booth. This is Brandon's Honda Challenge race car and uh, they just did Rhino Liner on the inside of the shell. Smells like brain cells dying in here, so I'm gonna leave. Hey, surprise, your car is now on my channel. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> What are you doing to it? Uh, tap back exhaust, MXP Comp RS. Really? Yeah. Oh, you're almost done. Yeah, just gotta put the tip on. I've never actually seen an 86 in person in this color. It really looks really nice on it. It's clean. It's clean, clean, clean. Love these cars. Sounds good. All kinds of little fluff came out of the tips. <laughs> I like it, it sounds good. There's like no rasp. He's doing some test sprays because we're gonna use the same type of Rhino liner on the inside of the Focus, but we're gonna tint it so it's white to match the outside of the car. Just cause this isn't like a regular spray gun, it doesn't really regulate the right? Oh. Uh, it's a little finer. That's nice. Yeah. I like that. Yeah, I agree. That should be pretty easy to clean. Cause it doesn't really have any like, raised chunks it's all kind of like a uniform it's just like a textured especially on a car that's gonna be white on the inside yeah so yeah anyway more stuff is gonna be coming on the focus i'm just having those guys help out with some of the stuff inside the car because it is a nightmare trying to film that inside the shell of the car i'll kick back on some more videos on that when i'm ready to start doing the wrc wide body panels and uh, paint the outside of the shell. As far as this thing goes, I had to order a bunch more little tiny parts so I can get the rest of it assembled. And uh, I think the next video you see on this should be able to drive it because I should have everything for it. Also a quick mention before I end this video, on the screen and down below in the video description is a link to DeBoss Garage's international car show that's going on right now. I am a judge of the tuner taste category again this year 
and I talked about it in a live stream recently. So I highly suggest entering your cars. It doesn't have to be in my category, it can be in anyone's category. I would like it if you had some tuner cars to put into my category, because that'd be fun. But yeah, uh, anyway, I'll see you guys soon with another video. Bye!